Lil Krizan, K R I Z A N A. I like to talk to you about the BS that goes through my brain while traveling alone to help you feel normal for being you. <laughs> How about we leave that in 2020? Yeah. Well, good days. <laughs> <laughs> if a guy tells you in the first few days of knowing you that he loves you, he is trying to control you. I learned this as soon as I left Scorpio. Trying to stop me from meeting other men to keep me to yourself. Bruv, Betty. The last time I was actually in Betty was 2017. 2020 is actually showing me how fortunate I am to have my family. I would not be here today if it was not for my mum's side and to my dad's side in Serbia. Oh, that's a whole other vlog. I am leaving tomorrow to go to Novi Sad and I'm super excited to show you like today is monday i don't know where i'm going on saturday and with corona restrictions it doesn't make my job any easier this is not a time you want to be traveling around especially with the restrictions and corona of course that is the place i dropped my passport it's another vlog as well i don't like spending money it's natural for me. My money is better spent in my pocket. When I told my cousin that I'm going to take the bus to Novi Sad, I want my neighbor to take you to Novi Sad because you won't have so many interactions with other people. <laughs> I went with what she said. <laughs> the quickest way to judge the true character of a person is through money. Remember that. The apartment I rented while in Novi Sad. messages they were amazing in the first few days and then they just started to dwindle off he would initiate the video calls because i'm just not that person asked me numerous times to meet up initially i was really excited that i then went through to organize it but i freaked out a little <laughs> a little a lot that it didn't really come to fruition <laughs> and i kept avoiding the question and i realized i don't want to see him he told me a few hours before he was flying to Istanbul that he was in fact going to Istanbul. It broke me. The next morning I woke up just going, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't believe anything you say. You tell me that you're crazy about me. You tell me that you want to see me. I'm still in your heart like the day I left. And yet you're going to Istanbul? So, when it came to me going to Novi Sad, Oh my gosh! decided to tell him the day before because that's what he did with me and then I started to mimic his messages hi how are you have a great day I started to become cold I started to become someone that I'm not I've been here before I actually didn't know that my family picks me up from around here dude I'm just conquering the world and I don't even know it 
there was this feeling that I had within me, but there's something amiss here. There's something just, it just does not make sense. There was a moment where he had just made a passing comment. You don't know me. No, no, you don't know me. And as I said it, I turned to look at him. You're the devil! Because his expression was death. I have never ever come across medical clinic where they're actually ridiculously helpful even though they don't know how to speak English this one woman was just so helpful in trying to explain to me what's required in order to get the test across Serbia unfortunately for foreigners it costs 120 euros to get a corona test and I'm beside myself because I don't want to pay that much but it is the only option I have if I want to go to a country that requires a test to enter. As for the rest of the population that is actually from Serbia, it costs them about 50 euros. <laughs> and the booking is online. So now I just got to decide what the hell I'm doing. Man, the other woman who was initially just like, oh my gosh, she speaks English. I don't understand. But she just helped me in a tent and I don't have to pay 120. Shh, don't get excited. Just hold out. Because I'm wanting to go to Montenegro, I only pay 20 because there's a different type of test you have to do. Oh, I'm so grateful to her. Okay, let's go and see if we can find this place. <laughs> Went into here and the woman just said, no, no, it's not at this place, but I just walked through an ocean of people that have COVID. <laughs> so, now, you and me, we're gonna head an hour in the opposite direction where they actually state that you don't have COVID. That's what I wanna do, let's go. The lady just told me here at this other place, I don't know where I am, that the test is in fact done next door from seven to 10 in the morning. You don't need to book, you just go there. This is where we're coming tomorrow morning from seven. We know we need to be here for six. <laughs> I'm going to drive you to Serbia. Really? Yeah, I will drive you to Serbia. No, I don't think that's a good idea because COVID and the borders, you know what I mean? Like, okay, let's talk about it. We'll talk about it. Okay, sure. And we all know that I'm a meat eater. This is good, man. Why didn't you remind me that I was driving you to Serbia? You needed me to remind you that you offered to drive me to a different country. Who does this? Yes, I forgot. I, I sincerely forgot. <laughs> Turns out this place doesn't do the tests. They actually stopped last week. How convenient is that? And apparently the place that I first went to, she was saying that they do the tests. So I think I'm just going full circle. And I have to pay 120 euros. I'm gonna go home and think on this, whether the location is actually worth it. You know what, guys? We should just go somewhere else. Whoa. Turns out the PCR test is the only test existing right now. So I do have to pay 120 euros or pick a different location. Get your facts right. D, B, stop, hold up. If it wasn't for this woman saying what it is that she said and us walking around and conquering 26,000 steps yesterday, you would have booked to go to Bordva because you would have paid 120 euros for the PCR test. <sighs> it was meant to be, you know? Whatever happens is meant to happen. <laughs> Carry on. results are released within 24 to 48 hours but I've cut that short and so I can't get the PCR test <laughs> and now I'm gonna have to go home and figure out which country I'm going to next
You reflect. You remember situations. He drove to the entrance of Vodno, parked his vehicle in an inconspicuous area. He had his cap, his sunglasses on, and he watched Momo and I approach Vodno because he wanted to make sure that I was telling him the truth. I don't know what I would have done if that was a man. Why would you do anything like that? Like, that's just so wrong. Who does that? You were spying on me. Well, obviously, I'm in love with you. Love means very different things for different people. Don't think there's only one definition. You just have to buy your ticket from here. And then what you do, is you have to get your bus to work. <laughs> oh my god, you're so beautiful. With the whole corona test situation, I decided that I didn't want to give 120 euros towards a test to get into a country. So I instead decided to pick a different country and we're headed there tomorrow, oh my gosh. But as of today, we are leaving Novi Sad to go over to Belgrade, yeah. I'm walking around teary because I've been really stressed about where to go to next because of the restrictions and they're ever changing. So you just don't know if you're going to be able to go to where it is that you've already planned to go to. But man, I'm walking around the fortress and I'm just so emotional. I'm so filled with love because I live a good life and we all do this. We all get so caught up on the small things we forget the whole perspective that we just gotta be grateful oh. Let's go. to book accommodation for tomorrow and I just took him stalling I don't know why I'm walking around in the cold like a mad woman who does this
airport shuttles, it's fine because you can just get a local bus. But man, <laughs> to start off my morning, I was like, mm-mm. This is the only problem because you have actually got through because I had a lot of luggage. But because I've only got Shrek and I've got that, it works. So I didn't have to sit here for like over an hour waiting to check in because they do check ins like straight away. <gasps> Thank you, Jesus. First time I've ever come to the airport like four hours early. Mama convinced me to get a plane. I am not that person. I don't want to just be filtered out. I want real. I want to feel something. I convinced him that we would be friends with benefits. Friends, we're not. Benefits are non-existent. What? I did it because I need these thoughts and these emotions to stop them from suffocating me. Every time I tried to break it off, he would say to me, I don't want to lose you. I would slip back in. In the beginning, oxytocin goes wild, endorphins go wild, but the come down is nasty. Why are you doing this to me? I can't handle feeling like we're something, but we're nothing. Why make me think that you care when you don't? You're a fuckable, that's all it is. I don't want to think of you as anything more. There's nothing more. How about we leave it in 20? If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Click the bell at the very end. Why? So you are reminded of when my madness is next release. Lo Krishan, K-R-I-Z-A-N-A. Stay healthy.